Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This knife obviously came from Vosteed, so I think I know what it is. We're gonna open it up and share that moment together. Thanks so much to Vosteed for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, so uh, I will link this down in the description. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna break this seal. I will link this right down in the description. You guys can check it out if you want. It should be available. It does help my channel when you guys use those links, but that's entirely up to you. I'm pretty sure this is a premium version of a knife that I have received already. Let me take a look at the other side. Yeah. So this is like the nicer boy. This is like the, the premium guy. So here's what we've got. Oh boy, that does look familiar. So this, wow. So this is the Vosteed Thunderbird button lock with some crazy G Mascus. And then we have M390. Now I have received, okay, this button is way better. Vosteed, I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. Sorry, we need to get that locked down before I mess with it. This is substantially better. Okay, let me get the other one out here real quick so I can explain what it is that I'm crying about. The Vosteed Thunderbird that I originally got, which was really cool looking, but the button was, it traveled so much further. What, what is the difference here? Oh, I see. Yeah. Look at the, the button depth, right? So when it's open, look at this. Oh, that's way better. I hate this. I hate that. I will, I will hear no argument. That is Kaiser Cormorant depth. It's too high. I don't want to have to, like, pushing the freaking nuke button in an old in an 80s movie. Like, I don't need it to travel that far. It's not satisfying. Um, it just doesn't feel good. It crunches because it's dragging along so much material. Now, a lot of people might make the argument and say, well, that's it's got additional surface contact, right? That makes it, you know, not able to disengage. But this did disengage. <laughs> now we have a problem. <laughs> hey! That was, that was an argument. <laughs> the imaginary person in my head won the argument. No! Can't get that one to disengage. I'm going to put some gloves on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. You keep the gauntlets in a safe place here. <laughs> Listen. This has to go up now, it happened. Okay, let's lock this thing out securely and try again. Okay, we're locked. It's just gotta make sure, because it's left-handed. Now it's disengaging almost immediately. Okay, so now we have a problem. This feels better, but it's too shallow. It's too, it's, it's too little. God, you'd almost think it would be the it would be backwards because it's a, it's way in there, right? Now I don't I don't like the spine whack test in the sense that it, it demonstrates like proper use of a knife, right? Because you're not like unless unless you're just an idiot, you're you're not going to be putting this type of force on the blade. Let's just push. I cannot get it to disengage just by pushing, but I can easily get it to disengage by tapping on the spine, right? This was an issue with the raccoon. And they switched to the crossbar lock and it was fine. Hmm. God, it feels so much better though. This one, let's see if I can get it, get it to disengage. Ah, I can get that one to disengage too. Yeah. I'm using medium force there. These are not gonna work, Vosti. You're gonna have to rework these. Um, because the button on the new one, while this is really good looking, right? And like I said, regular pressure. Nope. That's quite a bit of pressure. Same with this one. I'm just going to push. Nope. But impact, right? Which is not a good demonstration again of normal use. 
I'm sure somebody's got a paragraph ready. Go ahead and type it up. Go ahead and type it up. It's not like I haven't heard it a million times before, but you'll have to forgive me. I'm going to dismiss it because I'm set in my ways. I don't think that's a good demonstration of natural use with a knife, right? That's, that's stupid use with a knife. Use a hammer, right? If you need to pound on something, use a hammer. However, there are very rare circumstances, circumstances, circumstances where you're gripping the knife with your bare hands and maybe you've cut into something that's a little bit dense. And on the way out, you're wiggling and trying to pry it out. This can happen. It doesn't have to be like wood, right? Something like rubber or even styrofoam. Now, if you pull exactly the right way, right, then it can simulate that impact resistance or I'm sorry, that that impact movement, right? And in the rarest of scenarios, it could close on your hand and that's not good, right? Um, it, the knife should be able to survive a weak spine whack test, not a heavy one. Um, if you got to, you know, use two hands and you have to swing it like a two handed sword. Well, I don't think that's proof of anything. That's stupid, and that's how, you know, that's how Cold Steel marketed the triad block, and that's why so many people, you know, bow and pray to that thing. But uh, knives should be able to withstand um, a, a minor spine whack test. So these look cool. I mean, I got to be honest. I like the look of the aluminum, and the blade steel one on this guy is, well, I think it's 154 cm. It says prototype, right? Um, but these need, the button locks need to be reworked. Button locks are not famously the strongest locks in the world, but I can tell you, I've demonstrated plenty of them that will withstand that very minor spine whack test. They're just fine. So it's a geometry issue. This is something that can be fixed, right? But it's absolutely something that should be fixed. Absolutely. We, we don't want to, and you know, hey, listen, Vosti, if it can't, don't do them in a button lock. Do them in a crossbar lock because you've proven you can do a great crossbar lock. And I think these would work just fine. It's a cool look, right? We've got an ambidextrous clip. Vosti does one of the best clips out there, right? Or actually, that's a clip that we see a lot out there. There's just a lot of companies who can't figure out that this is, you know, just, well, there's a lot of companies who don't understand my preferences, of course. Yes, my preferences should be unanimously shared amongst the community. Now, I just really like the the clip here, right? We got an aluminum backspacer. I don't know what that little mark is right there. We got a little filler tab there. That's fine. Everything else here, I mean, you know, this all looks like the makings of a pretty good little pocket knife. Do we have blade play? A little bit of wiggle. I can feel it slipping. Uh, not with this guy. But, you know, the depth... Here or there, I don't like a long and elongated depth that's too far to push. It's the geometry of the, the parts that are meeting up to secure the knife, right? That's that's where we've got to get that fixed. So, unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to... I'll review this knife when they have a working product. Um, I've had a couple of situations where I've got something on an unboxing and something fails, Right? Um, and then, uh, I went ahead and reviewed the failing product and then the company, you know, like shortly after messaged me and they're like, we're, we're working on a version two, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'll re-review it then. So rather than review this and say exactly what I'm saying right now, it's non-functional, um, or it's not safe, uh, I'll wait because Vosti is pretty good about getting on this, right? So I've got faith. I mean, they, that's exactly what they did with the raccoon. They, they got on it and their version two button lock version of the raccoon apparently is pretty good. So um, I'll wait for that. Thanks anyway to Vosteed for sending this in. These are linked down below. Obviously, I would say wait, <laughs> but they're linked if you want to check them out either way. All right, that's going to be pretty much it. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.